Hello. Hi. Wow. Wow. Oh, <laughs> wow. How are you? Good. Is that a, that's not a bonnet, right? Or is it a bonnet? No, this is an African gile. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Do you wear that all the time? Um, different colors, but I do wear this to protect my crown. Okay, so you don't show your hair in public? I do. Oh, you do? Okay. I show What's the hair. Oh, you do my show your hair? I do. Okay, okay. Yeah. What's your name, baby? Ifa Shayo. Oh, say it again. Ifa Shayo. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to mess it up. Do you have a nickname? <laughs> no, that's just my name. Ifa Okay. Shayo. E5 Shao. Don't get mm -hmm. mad at me because I know I can't pronounce it. E5 okay. Shao, where are you calling us from? I'm calling from Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, how old are you? I am 29. I'll be 30 on Monday. Oh, happy birthday on the way. So you're a cancer. Thank you. I am. Do you have any kids? I do. I have a son. He's 11. 11. What do you do for a living? I am a sound healer, holistic practitioner. So I teach yoga, meditation. I provide holistic healing. Okay, holistic healing. Mm -hmm. And when's your birth? Oh, you're a cancer. So, mm -hmm. holistic healing. So, this is E5 Shaho? Shio. <laughs> E5 Shio. I'm sorry, girl. Yeah, She's in Atlanta, okay. 29, a cancer, has 11 year old son, is a holistic healer. What kind of man do you desire? Um, I desire an African man or one of African culture background. Um, someone that is honest, someone that is definitely masculine, a king, someone that knows who he is, knows his life purpose, his mission in life, and is after that. Okay. What's some deal breakers for you? Liars, um, people that are not motivated, people that, mm, let me think on that. Those two for sure, but definitely people that have like, Multiple children and, and big mama issues. I'm beyond drama free. So I don't deal with any of that. Okay. No big mama issues. Does he have to be in Atlanta? No, he doesn't have to be in Atlanta. If he's not in Atlanta, he has to like have business here, have something here that's bringing him back and forth. Okay. Bringing him back and forth. All right. Can he have kids? He can have kids. Okay. Have you ever been married? I haven't. Engaged twice. But not married. You said gay twice? Mm-hmm. Why didn't you settle down with your son's dad? So he just wasn't ready to settle. I thought he was at one point and I seen that he was still, you know, wanting to live his life like a young like a young man. So I let him do that instead of trying to tie him into something long and something committed. Okay. I just, you know, let it be. E five Shio. 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 <laughs> She's in Atlanta, 29. What's the age range you want to date? Um, I would say between 35 and 45. Sorry. 35 to 45. Mm -hmm. um, does he have to look a certain way? Yeah, he needs to be melanated. He needs to be taller than me. I'm 5'8", so taller than me will be perfect. He needs to have straight, good teeth, good hygiene. Like, you know, the normal stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm adding the Kendra G cam to it. So take the camera so we can see your full body. Go up from the top. Okay, okay. Do you have on a robe? No. Now I feel like I got to show y'all. <laughs> okay, so no, this is a dress. Okay. Um, okay. I don't be, you know, out here with skimpy shit on, excuse me, but I wear flowy things. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, does he got to make a certain amount of money? He needs to be wealthy. He needs to be able to take care of himself, his own needs, his own habits. If that looks like he's making six figures a month, then so be it. Wealthy, I would think, is, oh, you said six figures a month. Mm-hmm. So not six figures a year. So you want to be a millionaire then? Absolutely. Or somewhere that, not even like you have to be a millionaire to date me. I just want the man to be wealthy and well off, you know, not scamming, you know, have your own thing going on. You Do you know? normally date wealthy men? I would say that I date men that value, that have good things going for themselves. So why haven't any of those relationships worked out? How come they haven't worked out? Yes. Well, people have their own things 
that outside of me and what I can control, there's different things that happen where why, why things don't align. Rather, it's just not in alignment for certain areas that I'm looking for or even for them. It's not even always on the other person or why things don't work out. So I can't point the finger and say, I know exactly why this didn't work with this person. I know exactly why this didn't work out here. Right. Things just weren't in alignment. I feel like where maybe at one point of time it was in alignment and just wasn't. And just wasn't. Now everybody wants to know how much money you make. You don't necessarily have to answer that question. That's none of their business. <laughs> and there you have it. All right. Say your name for me because I don't want to mess it up. Ifa Shio. There you have it. Ifa Shio. She's in Atlanta, 29. <laughs> She's a cancer, has an 11-year-old son, a holistic healer. She wants a wealthy man. Um, when was your last relationship? My last real relationship was a year and a half ago. You don't got to answer this question, but I'm going to ask. When's sure. the last time you was intimate with someone? A year ago. A year ago. Are you waiting for a relationship to be intimate again? No, just something that's worth my time. Something that's worth your time. Are you currently dating? I'm not dating right now, but I'm wanting to date again. Okay. And just one more question about the wealthy man. And sure. real, so you say you <laughs> date wealthy men. So I'm assuming you're in the circle of wealthy men as well, too. I meet a lot of people that are entrepreneurs that are CEOs of their own companies. So that, in my mind, makes you wealthy. Yeah, you can take care of yourself. You're not, you know, looking for something else, a handout from somebody else. That's wealthy in, a, in its own sense. Um, a CEO, nine times out of 10, is going to be wealthy. So I just want to make sure we're clear. So you said um, six figures a month. If he made six figures a year, is that too low for you? No. Okay. As long as it's okay. consistent as well. Like, that's like consistently what you're able to withhold. And yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, so why would a guy be lucky to be with you? <laughs> why would he be lucky to be with me? Many different reasons. I'm amazing to be around. Um, I'm very funny. I know how to keep things spicy. I know how to take care of someone mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Um, and I know how to, you know, offer that balance that comes from the feminine aspect, from the fem feminine energy. I'm sorry. The feminine energy okay yes, yes. a lot What's of people up? don't know how to be feminine a lot of people don't know how to um a lot of men don't know even how to create the space for women to be feminine so if i'm with the right person they're going to have that they're going to have that support they're going to have that loving nurturing energy that comes from the feminine side of things so what does that mean for you like what is what does being feminine mean to you what's an example <laughs> um being confident, being soft, soft life, um, not being insecure, having my own thing going on, very high confidence, very, um, very much balanced in my emotions and hormones, being very much um, the opposite of what masculinity is, the opposite of what runs that energy is what feminine is, what femininity is. Okay, okay. And that's what I exude. Okay. So that was the question. So why do you think you're single? Why do I think I'm single? I really yeah. have a, a short fuse for things. I don't put up with things that I don't like. I will let you go, you know, instead of, like, trying to hold on. <laughs> so I can honestly say that's why I'm single. I've had a lot of people show interest, but I'm not, like, one to just take anything that comes my way. Okay, okay. Let's do mm -hmm. it. I don't want to be disrespectful. Say your name for me. <laughs> it's okay. It's Ifa Shio. Ifa Shio. What is your mm -hmm. ethnicity? I am Native Indian, black and white. Okay. And mm -hmm. she's in Atlanta, 29. He said, does the guy have to be in Atlanta? No. He doesn't okay. have to live here. But if he doesn't yeah. live here, like, he needs to be one that already comes here often. Okay. Do you, um, can he have kids already? Yeah, he can have kids. Do you want more kids? I do. Okay. Do you desire to get married? I do. Okay. She's 29, so day 35 to 45 is a cancer. Holistic healer. Let's do it. Give them your Instagram name. My Instagram name is Infinite Creator 711. It's no spaces and it's not spelled any other way. So I N F I N I T E C R E A T O R underscore 711. 
infinite creator underscore 711. You have to be a wealthy man. Let's get it clear. If you broke, this ain't <laughs> the woman for you. She can't heal you to riches. You got to already come healed with riches. Mm -hmm. Or you can have riches and she can heal you. But if you broke, she can't heal you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you said, girl. I'm just repeating back what you said. All right, Boo, can you post out how it goes? I will. I sure right, will. Bye, baby. Peace. Bye, Boo.